Obama lives it up in Bali while Trey Gowdy reveals the criminal reason he went overseas. Barack Obama is allowing photographers to publish photos of his so-called vacation in Bali all in a ruse to make Americans think he doesn't have a care in the world. Well, Trey Gowdy would differ on Barack Obama's latest overseas venture. With Loretta Lynch under investigation, Gowdy is now gunning for the former president, and the bulldog Gowdy has revealed the alleged criminal activity that has Obama on the run. Barack Obama's timing of this latest overseas vacation is quite suspect. When the Senate and House Intelligent Intel Committee opened an investigation into Loretta Lynch's activities, Obama got Michelle and his two daughters on board a private jet and took off to Indonesia, which has no extradition with the United States. Trey Gowdy, known as the, quote, bulldog for good reason, is wanting to know when Obama will be back in the United States. He has a couple of questions for the 44th president, and we have uncovered exactly what Gowdy wants to know. Gowdy has gone public with his suspicions about Barack Obama and his administration. According to Obama's former DHS secretary, Jay Johnson, Barack as was well aware that the DNC was not allowing the federal government access to its hacked servers and Gowdy wants to know why Obama was covering for the DNC. Let me hazard a wild guess. There may be something else on the, that server they don't want law enforcement to see. That is where you start. I don't like speculating, but I have dealt in the past with victims that would not cooperate with investigations. Typically, the reason is there is something else you don't want law enforcement to see, Gowdy explained on Fox News. But that's not all. Loretta Lynch's meeting with Bill Clinton on the tarmac is something that Obama also knew about and had to sanction. The whole point here is Obama was doing all kinds of shady things to help the DNC and Hillary and the Hillary Clinton campaign, and Gowdy wants him back on U.S. soil. He looks like he's having a grand old time. Susan Rice, another Obama appointee, alleged, allegedly unmasked General Michael Flynn's name, which is a federal crime. When Gowdy was asked about Rice refusing to testify about Obama's role, he said, there are things called subpoenas. You don't have to use it with a former national security advisor, but if you do, you do. He later added that Rice is an important witness to the investigation. Members of Congress don't pick the witnesses. Lawyers don't pick witnesses. The facts pick the witnesses, Gowdy said. And whether Ambassador Rice likes it or not, she's a really important fact witness. Susan Rice and Loretta Lynch have one thing in common, namely their boss to whom all their activity was reported. That boss, R uh, Barack Hussein Obama, is now off river rafting in Bali like he doesn't have a care in the world. Trey Gowdy is using Rice and Lynch to get to the one who ordered all of these illegal actions. Mr. Obama now, a private citizen with no special privileges, may be living it up at the moment, but he will have to come home and face Gowdy sooner or later. We can't wait to see him sweat. The heat is on, and his special trips abroad are coming to an end real soon. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you for watching.